could turn back now. We've already learned more about fire than we'd hoped. No, we're seeing this through to the end. We're gonna meet these masters and find out what's so great about them. What if they judge us and attack us? Well, we're the Fire Prince and the Avatar. I think we could take these guys in a fight, whoever they are. Bring them out! Chanters! The Masters Ran and Shaw will now present their fire. Sound the call! What's happening? <gasps> Zuko! My fire went out! What do you want me to do? Give me some of yours. No, just make your own. I can't. Get some from one of those warriors. Hurry. Stop cheating off me. Quit being stingy. moment now. Dinner for the masters. Quiet, Humgo. What? Everyone's thinking it. Zuko, I think we're supposed to do the dragon dance with them. What? What about this situation makes you think they want us to dance? Well, I think they want us to do something. Let's just try it. Fine. Their fire was beautiful. I saw so many colors. Colors I've never imagined. Like fire-bending harmony. Yes. They judged you and gave you visions of the meaning of firebending. I can't believe there are still living dragons. My Uncle Iroh said he faced the last dragon and killed it. So your uncle lied? Actually, it wasn't a total lie. Iroh was the last outsider to face the masters. They deemed him worthy and passed the secret on to him as well. He must have lied to protect them, so no one else would hunt them. 
All this time, I thought firebending was destruction. Since I hurt Katara, I've been too afraid and hesitant. But now I know what it really is. It's energy and life. Yeah, it's like the sun, but inside of you. Do you guys realize this? Well, our civilization is called the Sun Warriors, so yeah. That's why my firebending was so weak before. Because for so many years, hunting you was my drive. It was my purpose. So when I joined you, I lost sight of my inner fire. But now, I have a new drive. I have to help you defeat my father and restore balance to the world. Now that you have learned the secrets, and you know about our tribe's existence, we have no choice but to imprison you here forever. Just kidding. But seriously, don't tell anyone. <laughs>